This imposing neo-Renaissance edifice was built a hundred years ago. It used to be a high school campus. Today it's a museum, thanks to a single man. The entire collection, all the objects in Mimara Museum, were the gift of our great donor, Anta Topic Mimara, who dedicated his life to collecting art. Before his death, he gave all his possessions to his people. The museum contains more than 3,700 works donated by Mimara. This is the only museum in Croatia with a section for Asian art. But this is just one of the wings of Mimara Museum. There are many other collections. Applied arts of Europe from the Middle Ages till the 19th century. The archaeological collection with plenty of interesting objects from Mesopotamia and Egypt to Hellenistic art and early Christianity. Finally, there's the great collection of European painting and sculpture from the early easel painting until Impressionism. It includes the greatest painters in history, such as Raphael, Valesquez, Rubens, Rembrandt and Renoir. But Mimara Museum has temporary exhibitions too. The favourite place for them is the beautiful atrium. This one is called A Touch of Glass, the exhibition of contemporary Nordic glassmaking. It displays 80 works. They were created by famous or up-and-coming designers in 13 facilities and studios in Scandinavia. Scandinavian glass and Scandinavian design in general is laid on a foundation. This foundation was made by the classic masters who are also represented at this exhibition. Their designs are timeless. Their sketches and plans are still used today. In fact, when a contemporary exhibition is made in the future, it will have a place for the works of Alvar Aalto, Tapio Wirkala and Timo Sarpaneva, since time means nothing to them. The oldest exhibit is a vase made by Aalto in 1936. These are the glasses called Springtime, produced only in 2007, but designed in 1970 by the genius Danish architect Jorn Utzen, the creator of Sydney Opera House. The Scandinavian glassmaking scene is rich and vibrant. Most of the glasswork facilities were founded in the 19th and even the 18th century. This is the power of tradition combined with new energy.